Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 180 of Let's Platinum in 100% Neo. Alright, here we go, the final DLC pack, the final 12 missions. Um, so let's just get started straight away with the Sonata's Resolve. Okay, here we go, the Sonata's Resolve. Let's see if we can get through this mission. Um, this one's kind of annoying, but... Because it's like the... Where you start compared to where you end is quite far. But we'll get through it. Um, alright, so we have to run around here, get through this door here, watch out for the, just hold block here so that way he doesn't hurt you too badly. He got me a little bit, should be enough to get through. Kind of want to use an elixir because this next one with the Odachi is going to hit me, but we'll see. Oh, gotcha. Okay, watch out here for the, um, well, for that attack, usually he hits you for the boulder. Nice, go around here, keep going. There's a shrine coming up here in just a moment. And it's so slow. Got it, just in time. Bang. Alright, now, uh, where was it again? Oh yeah, that's right, I remember now. I can't believe my elixir stock has gone up to 266. It was like 201 at one point. Uh, I think the safest way to do it is to try and... Oh, I have... I have Keke. Yeah, I think the safest way to do it is, is this way anyway, but... Oh, the ground is favourable here. He was swinging at me, but he couldn't hit me because I was on a slanted, slightly downwards... Um, slant, I guess. <laughs> yeah, do that and get the mountain fort key and then try and open it quickly. Hold block, perfect. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I had um, 261, I think that was, elixirs, or 66 or something. Um, and the reason I'm like, I can't believe I have that many is because at one stage I had like, I think 200 or less. Damn it! Be right back. Okay, I got a little unlucky there. I think I was holding the L1 button to block, but I guess I didn't hold it long enough. Run here, quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh no, oh no. Uh, hang on, hang on. This might still work. Someone's throwing... Ah, <sighs> what a jerk. Alright, hang on a sec. I gotta take this guy out. Shouldn't be too hard, I just have to time my uh, guard press correctly. Thank you. Oh, I was like, why didn't I do any fire damage? <laughs> oh my goodness, come on guys. <laughs> Made like the tiniest little mistake. And now I'm gonna regret it. Oh my goodness! <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get it this time. Hopefully... Can you please activate? I actually don't know what is causing it to not work. Because for the most part, it, it doesn't do that. Like, that's, this is actually the first time that's happened, and I've done it a handful of times now, so... Good. I do need a good Kusurigama though, so I guess it's worth killing this guy. And, but I think the Kusurigama he provided me was not the one I wanted. It's fine. We will need one later, but it's not a big deal. Alright, cool. Let's get the shrine going. And now it's Yukimura and uh, Sasuke again. Who are, you know, I mean they're a bit easier this time than when I fought them last time, but it'll still probably be a little bit difficult. Skip the cutscene. Sloth, weakness, fire. Let's throw Sloth again, try and get behind him. Oh, that was good. Sloth, weakness. Come on. Not a jerk. One more Sloth. My unlimited on is not working today. Come on. 
One, two, three, four. I've gotten very unlucky with this fight at this point. Because usually um, I can get behind him and do the full, or at least part of the morning moon combo. One, two, three, four. Come on. Yeah, this is a problem. Because <laughs> now Sasuke is here and... Ah. Come on. That's what I wanted. I saw, like... Sasuke was about to attack and I was like, yeah, I'll go for a block there. Get away. Come on, Sasuke. Oh, damn it, I had that. <laughs> I'll try and go for Sasuke first since he's actually not got that much health. Come on. Please die. Okay, good. What? He dropped a single elixir. <laughs> that's amazing. I don't think that's ever happened. Come on, come on. Yes. Alright, it's over. Alright, that was terrible, but at least we got through it. Now let's move on to the next one. Okay, here we are at the next one, The Loyalty of Demons. Um, I lowered the sound a little bit, by the way, the game sound. I forgot to mention that earlier. Um, just because I was noticing that sometimes when... Like I was fighting, the noise or the sound was just a little bit too high, so I lowered it a bit. Um, I'm also not doing the... Um, hmm, how am I going to do this one? I'm not doing the uh, all the main missions in a row this time. Usually I'll do like main mission, main mission, main mission. But uh, this time I'm going to... S not skip that, but I'm going to... Uh, oh, thank goodness I was able to get that. Okay, now i just got to... Get up here. That'll do. Crap, open the door. Yes. <laughs> okay, that worked out rather well. Um, yeah, usually I'll do that, but in this particular case, um, the main missions are a little bit more difficult. Um, there's like just a little bit more uh, strategy that is involved with finishing them off effectively so I'm going to try and do basically all of the other missions except for those um, and a few others like you'll see what I mean we'll still do all of them it's just yeah I think this will probably take about um, three episodes or so um, to get through this DLC what happened there I was not able to move forward. This guy's gonna explode as soon as my flame goes off. Oh, the one's lost the barrel. There we go. Good. Now you. Now I know that there is a Ninken that appears right here. If I. Uh, you know what? Like this attack here where you use the strong attack and then you press X followed by more strong attacks I forgot that that guy spawned that quickly <laughs> okay let's try that again so I forgot that that guy spawned quickly but this this attack um, combo that I sort of worked out only very recently is the like one of the best combos ever it's just so good come on damn nice get it get it 18k, holy crap. Now I think it's either, I think it's here, isn't it? Yes. Quickly, quickly. Before the other one has a chance to kill me. Uh, let's do this. Quickly, quickly. That's fine. Oh, careful, careful. Um, hmm. 
Okay, he's Oh my god, what? Okay, let's try from here. This one is uh, a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. Definitely not expecting it to provide this much challenge. <laughs> but that guy just did so much damage with that attack last time. If I could ever get his horn, that would be nice. There we go. Okay, now I know Onryoki is the last one, I'm pretty sure, once again. <laughs> I think it's now. Alright, Sloth, Weakness, get fire going. Oh, that almost killed me. Got a fair amount of health, this one. Three, four, five. Gosh. He likes that attack, doesn't he? Can I hit him in the horn? Nearly. That's pretty good. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, there we go. We got it. Yay. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Okay, here we are with courage and wisdom. This one's not too long, which is nice. So let's see if we can get that going. One really good thing about the the last mission, or well, the last submission, the, uh, the what I believe to be like the last intended submission. Whoops, I went the wrong way. Um, it's called uh, Everlasting Duty, where you have to face the Nine Tails and uh, Toyotomi Hideyori. Um, that mission provides an obscene amount of Amrita, like crazy amounts i think like on my other file i'm almost level 400 and it takes like 200 million plus amrita to level up per level and i did i did it like two or three times and i got i think i had like 600,000. it just provides you with so much all right so this mission is going to come to an end very quickly luckily this paralysis is from um katakura and not me Oh gosh, that scared me. I was like, what is going on? So I was about to take a hit here. All right, I think I'm going to go to the uh, main menu, so I'll meet you there. Okay, I'm back here at the main menu, uh, specifically with the uh, in the blacksmith menu with the Kusurigama. And what I want to do, I don't have to do it right now, but I'm going to do it now because I think I don't see myself getting a better Kusurigama. Um, so you can see, I, I could choose either one of these. Kusurigamas, as far as I can tell, only come with five special effects. Um, if it's got a sixth one, um, so for example, this one has water and it also has like a transferable skill of skill break. Um, so it'll probably come with, like it'll only come with more than five if it's one of those like fixed or with a transferable skill. I have yet to find one that has like six uh, different skill effects. This one has seven because it has two different ones, but six different skill effects that... Um, you know, you can do anything with. Um, so this one here, now the only problem is I don't have any regular Umbra site, um, but it's not too big of a deal. What we want to do is we want to create a uh, Kusuri Gama that has, um, it has a lot of key damage on it. So we want to try and get as much key damage. Wait, is it key damage? Oh, it doesn't have to be all key damage, but key damage would be good. So Earth damage weapon is also good, but basically we just want key damage. So let's just get rid of everything here. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of everything. Let's try and see things that have key damage. Okay, that's terrible. Let's try again. Attack from behind. Yeah, that's not that good. Skill effect extend. Oh, it's only extended. Right, get rid of that. Status ailment and augmentate. Okay, getting very unlucky here. Uh, okay, increase, to increase damage consecutive attacks. Because that's A minus, I'm going to keep that. Close combat key damage is all right. Um, wait, if it had... Yeah, that one had key damage. Um, so, yeah, we, that's good. Let's have a look at what we can change now. So, if we were to change this one... Uh, what about this one here? We don't need Earth because we're going to use Earth later ourselves. Man, this is terrible. Like, there's nothing good. Um, all right, so I guess we will change this one, this one, and this one. 
Okay, close combat attack enemy saturated is pretty good, but we need it to say enemy muddied. Skill key reduction. Skill key reduction could be alright. Let's try changing the other two. Close combat attack critical. That's also okay, but I don't think we need that. We don't need that either. Key damage, enemy muddied. Yeah, let's keep that. And then this one... Hang on, what, are, what else can we get on this? Change the skill attack. Yeah. Yeah, we could go with that. That might be enough. Hmm. I'll do it. I would have actually liked like a little bit more good stuff, but uh, I think that's probably the best I'm going to get. All right, we'll keep it like that. If if um if I need to change something, I can still change it later on down the track. Um, so let's soul match that. Just quickly get it up to level. Uh, where is it? There it is. Soul match with hmm, which one? Well, I want to keep this one. This one could be like pretty valuable too. Uh, we'll just use this one here. It's not going to cost that much. Alright, there we go. So we're going to hold on to that for now and we will um, we'll use that a little bit later on. Anything here? No? Um, let's see what she's got to sell because we still need the Yata mirror. Wow, this one's alright. Um, one of the better Namio Yogis I've seen. Still not that good, but Definitely one of the better ones I've seen. Okay, we'll leave it like that. Um, I think we've probably got enough content for one episode. Okay, I'm just gonna interrupt myself there and because I was gonna end the episode, but I'm thinking actually we should do Raid on the Hirano River because it's a really quick mission. So let's go. Okay, here we go. Yeah, getting through this mission is like, it's not gonna be that hard. It's very quick and uh, at least we can do four missions in one episode. So it's, it'll help us to try and get um, 12 missions across three episodes, so hopefully that's the case. I also learnt something slightly new about this mission in particular. Uh, let's level up. So in this mission, we go fight uh, sort of like a mysterious, you know, uh, mystery mystery warrior. Like we're not supposed to, well, like the game tries to hide it from you a little bit, but if you've been paying attention, you can tell that it's Shimmer Sakon. But one thing that I didn't realize until I was practicing this yesterday was that um, this is actually... It's Shimizukon, but he's got, um, he's actually got, uh, Mitsunari's guardian spirit with him. Um, which makes sense because he was, uh, Mitsunari's... Oh my god, man. What the hell? Okay, I don't know why I'm getting caned at the moment. Like, I was not expecting that to happen. I know he does, like, a decent amount of damage, but I didn't expect things to kill me that easily. Anyway, he's got, um, especially considering he had the weakened melee weapons. Um, yeah, he was Ishida Mitsunari's, I think they're called retainers or whatever, he worked for him. And now he's got, um, his, his guardian spirit, which I th thought was really cool, but yeah, I didn't realize it until I was playing yesterday. I was like, oh, okay, wow, okay, see, so that's how it should have gone. That was very quick. Alright, cool. I think we'll leave it here, and uh, next time we'll continue with the remain remainder of the mission. So, I want to thank you all for watching episode 180 of Let's Pattern 100% Near. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.